This video is an introduction to healthcare marketing. We'll be looking at various sources to explain the different areas of marketing in this industry. You can visit the websites I list for more information. With that said, firstly, we'll be looking at Vizme's blog article, The Complete Guide to Healthcare Marketing in 2022. They answer first, what is healthcare marketing? To which they explain, it refers to the tools and techniques used to increase brand awareness and attract patients. The objectives of healthcare marketing include to deploy marketing strategies that will draw attention to your brand, deliver valuable resources and content to patients, protect and promote the health of patients, improve their healthcare experience, and increase satisfaction and build brand loyalty. Putting effort into your strategic healthcare marketing helps you stand out in the competitive industry and in the specific niche you're in, and in turn, will allow your medical organization to have positive growth and return on investment. Channels of healthcare marketing communications include the medical company's website, their social media, pay-per-click advertising, emails, content marketing, and these all need to be search engine optimized so that your target audience finds your brand when searching for medical information in their local area. If you don't know what SEO is, check out my intro to SEO video. So why use healthcare marketing? because it allows you to expand the reach of your potential healthcare customers. They'll be reading online reviews, exploring social media, and other platforms to look for the help they need. And because of your marketing efforts, they will come across your brand. That's called getting brand awareness. And then to show that you're a credible source for their healthcare needs, you can establish your brand as a thought leader in the healthcare industry. What this means is that your audience will recognize your business as the best and most professional in your niche. You can establish yourself as a topic authority by providing valuable healthcare-related content such as hosting seminars, posting healthcare tips and information to your website's blog and social media, sending out emails of helpful information to your email list, etc. That there is the process of content marketing. I'll come back to this concept later in the video. What are the differences between healthcare marketing and marketing in other industries? For this, we'll be looking at a post by Pulp Strategy that they posted on LinkedIn. They explain that healthcare marketing is a unique field that requires a different approach than marketing for other industries. Firstly, because the products and services are highly regulated. There are a lot of rules and regulations that healthcare marketers have to follow. There's a guide from Media Place Partners that goes over the healthcare advertising regulations. They include HIPAA guidelines, which are about protecting confidential patient information. HIPAA requires healthcare providers to get consent before sharing any health data and regulates how doctors and hospitals can advertise and use customer information for marketing purposes. And there are rules on making advertisements for medications set in place by the FDA, such as you must include whether there is a generic version of the drug, how quickly the drug can work, if there is a similar drug available, how prevalent the condition is, etc. And the FTC will step in if you make claims about a medication, such as this medication reduces your risk of cancer. So you'll want to have your claims reviewed by a lawyer or other expert on FTC regulations. Dark Law, which says that physicians are barred from making referrals to other healthcare providers if the physician or a family member has any financial relationship with the provider. You can read this article, Healthcare Advertising Regulations You Need to Know, for more information. But now back to the differences post. Another difference that comes with healthcare marketing is that the customers are often in a vulnerable state. So patients who are sick or are injured are often vulnerable. It's important to be ethical and to not exploit them. The stakes are high in this field because the products and services offered by healthcare providers can be life-saving. This means that healthcare marketers have to be extra careful to ensure that their marketing efforts are ethical and responsible. When you are talking about procedures and treatments, beware of hyperbole, avoid loaded words like best, and don't make any claims that aren't scientifically validated. A provider technically can't be called a specialist unless they're certified, and hedge terms like might prevent and can detect are your friends. And pulp strategy includes tips on how your healthcare marketing can be more effective. These include keep it personal. In healthcare marketing, patients are looking for a personal connection with their caregivers. They want to know that you care about them as an individual and not just another number. Be compassionate. Compassion is key in healthcare marketing. Patients are often going through difficult times and need to feel that you understand and care about their situation. Be trustworthy. Patients need to feel that they can trust you with their personal information and health concerns. Make sure you are transparent about your policies and procedures so patients know what to expect. Focus on the patient experience. In healthcare, the goal is to provide the best possible care for patients. This means making sure their experience with your organization is positive from start to finish. And lastly, keep it simple. Healthcare information can be complex, so make sure that your marketing materials are easy to understand. Use clear language and avoid jargon wherever possible. Now on to some healthcare website design tips. For this section, we are looking at WordStream's The 13 Best Healthcare Website Designs Examples and Tips. They offer 13 tips, but the first one being use color psychology in your website's color scheme. The example they give for this is Maven's Health Clinic's website. The whole website is different shades of green, which is a soothing color. 
Using calm colors and tones are important in the medical field, and the monochromatic scheme looks well put together and professional. The second tip is appeal to your audience's values. The example for this one is One Medical's homepage. The headline promises 24 7 healthcare. They say they make it easy, and that they can get a first year membership at a discount if they join now. And the photo shows a sleek and professional front desk and a nice staff, showing that their visit will be a pleasant one. So knowing what your audience values is important, so in your messaging you can ensure them that you will be a solution to their problems. Another tip that they give is to use numbers to add to your credibility. Mass General Brigham, for example, celebrates its extensive network of providers, significant funding, innovative research, and vast number of annual patients on its homepage to show patients just how experienced their organization is. To see the rest of their tips and examples, visit WordStream's article. The next section is Elements of Healthcare Ads with Examples. For this section, we were looking at the Digitalist blog, The Pro's Guide to Creating Healthcare Ads That Convert. They list healthcare advertising tactics, and the first one is one we saw with the website, which is color psychology. For instance, blue is associated with trust, credibility, knowledge, power, and professionalism. It also represents calm, focus, and reliability. So usually the colors are something calming like a green or a blue. And in the medical field, it's best to try to stay away from the color red. They show two examples where blue is used. The next element is using focal points. Focal point is often the element that relays the main message. You can use design principles like color, size, direction, and so on to highlight your desired focal point. And then there's typographic composition. This refers to the intentional use of text to tell a story. It uses a variety of principles such as direction, size, shape, or space. The next element of an effective healthcare ad is that it invokes an emotional response. Emotional triggers are one of the most powerful advertising techniques and one of the most in demand within the healthcare industry. Ads can target many different emotions such as sadness, sympathy, hope, or nostalgia. They give an example of a campaign of Sutter Health that uses the message, it's a thousand things big and small, to tackle the emotional aspect of healthcare. Evocative scenes from Sacramento and the Bay Area are shown at the end of the video to tie in with the local connection. The next tip is to use call to actions. Including a CTA at the end of your ad will increase your conversions. It's telling your audience what next step you want them to take after being persuaded by your message. You can be direct by using phrases such as set up an appointment or book a consultation. For more of their medical ad tactics, check out the Digitalis blog article. Now for social media management and healthcare. For this, we're using Hootsuite's article, How to Use Social Media in Healthcare, Examples Plus Tips. Hootsuite lists some of the benefits of using social media in healthcare, such as raising awareness. Social media is vital to raising public awareness about new, emerging, and annual health concerns. Bringing awareness to health issues can be as simple as reminding followers about a common sense health practice, or it can be as complex as planning seasonal campaigns. Social media can also raise the profile of illness, trends, and other health matters. One of the most effective ways of getting the key information out is to share it directly in the body of your social posts. Always provide a link for the audience so they can access more detailed information if they want to. The next benefit is being able to combat misinformation. How do you counter inappropriate healthcare claims? By raising awareness and providing the public with links to credible sources. The World Health Organization gives seven steps you can take to identify if a post is misinformation, which involves checking the source, examining supporting evidence, and turning to fact checkers. You can share helpful resources and educational posts related to healthcare. This helps others as well as helps to establish your brand as a topic authority, as discussed earlier in the video. Making valuable content that you share on social media is part of content marketing, a form of marketing that expands your reach and builds credibility for your brand through posting valuable content like social media posts, blog posts, etc. Social media platforms also offer healthcare professionals a way to engage with the public. Answering common health questions stops people from self-diagnosing and gives them peace of mind. And Hootsuite explains that you can use social media for an opportunity to connect healthcare practitioners and centers with potential study and survey participants. So if you need to find information about your target audience or get a focus group and see how they would react to an ad campaign you will release, you can get participants from posting on social media. For the rest of the tips, visit Hootsuite's article. Now on healthcare email marketing. Invoke gives examples of email marketing that hospitals can use. They explain that directly providing your audience with valuable information will create a favorable connection. You can send personalized email based on their interests, health status, etc. Healthcare providers can use email marketing to maintain communication, deliver important information, automate appointment reminders, and engage patients. You can get the email addresses of patients when they schedule an appointment with your practice. They can opt in to receive emails if they'd like. Additionally, Envoke says you can ask your audience to sign up to be on your email list on your blog sidebar, under each blog post, in the About or Contact Us pages, pop-ups on your website. Here's an example of a perfect Michigan dental footer subscriber form. 
It is well designed with a clear value proposition of what the subscribers will receive in your email list. You can use email marketing software to automate your emails. Once you start expanding your email list, it becomes difficult to manually send emails to each patient at the right time. Email automation solves this problem by allowing you to send emails based off different triggers. For example, when subscribing, you can automatically send a welcome email or set triggers to send a patient a reminder of an annual appointment. You can use email marketing tools to personalize your healthcare email marketing newsletters. Even if you are sending messages to hundreds or even thousands of people, you can give the impression that you're talking directly to one person. And emails that are automatically sent to your patients have the software include the contact's first names and include the name and picture of the doctor that sees them. So now the email will feel like a personalized message from that doctor directly to the patient on your email list. Invoke gives types of emails that you can send to your email list. The first one is a welcome email. The welcome email is your first contact with your subscriber. When a person registers, you can set up an automatic message that will be sent at the exact moment they confirm. It lets your patients know that they are important to you and that you are ready to meet their needs. Here you can see Mayo Clinic does a nice job of welcoming new subscribers. They outline their value proposition, explain what to expect, and offer valuable welcome discounts. You can send emails that inform your audience. People want access to reliable information, so show them that you care and encourage them to be current and proactive with their health. You can do that by sharing health-related information and resources. For example, this healthcare email from Quest Diagnostics showcases reliable information concerning COVID-19. Sharing tips with your audience showcases how considerate you are, and it reminds them how to stay healthy and that they are always welcomed. And in the emails, you can offer them promotion. For more of the types of emails that you can send as a medical brand, visit Envoke's article, 8 Best Healthcare Email Marketing Examples for Healthcare Centers. Healthcare Blog Post Content So again, content marketing is a valuable tactic that you can use in your healthcare marketing. Blog posts are examples of that content. This whole video, we've been looking at blog post content from brands, and now we know that they're professionals in their field, and readers may be interested in what they have to offer. We wouldn't have even known about these brands if they didn't write those blog posts that we found. The blog posts we looked at were from marketing brands. They're either marketing agencies or they are companies that offer a marketing service like a CRM or an email marketing tool. And since we are interested in marketing and public relations, we may look to their products and services to help us. And we can apply their same concept of content marketing to healthcare. Medical brands can write helpful blog content about a healthcare related topic. And when people find it, they will associate that helpful information with the medical brand. They will know that the brand knows what they are talking about and if they need medical services, that brand is a good option. And lastly, healthcare marketing materials examples. For this last section of the video, we're taking it back to VisMe. This is from the same article as before, but I felt this part would be better on its own section. This section is showing you some tactics and examples you can use when making healthcare marketing materials, like infographics. You can print these out as pamphlets and have them in your office, or you can post the infographics you make onto your social media or send them to your email list as part of your content marketing strategy. VisMe offers templates you can use to make them. You can change the colors, the text, the images, etc. To get an idea of what they look like, here are a few. This example is a cancer awareness campaign pamphlet. You can name it something specific to what you want your actual campaign to be called. The infographics are well put together using graphic design elements such as colors as we saw earlier. It uses unity, typography, hierarchy, white space, simplicity, etc. It simply explains what the problem is and offers solutions. And it gives you a call to action asking you to donate. So now your audience is educated on the topic, you've established yourself as knowledgeable of healthcare related knowledge, and they are provided with a call to action. And that's it for this video. This has been an overview of healthcare communications. We went over the different areas involved in healthcare marketing, such as communication channels, such as social media and emails. We went over how using the content marketing strategy can benefit those in the healthcare industry, and went over what the target audience of healthcare messaging values. For more public relations, marketing, or advertising related knowledge, subscribe to Newbies PR, the start of your PR learning journey.